still another state to go. That is North Carolina. So meteorologist Mike Seidel is joining us now from Wrightsville Beach. Mike, we've had a rough hit here. I wouldn't say it's been a significant blow. We've got some tree limbs down here and there, a tree down here and there, some, some brief structural damage, some flooding. But I think all in all, in pretty good shape. How do you get the sense this will go and play out for, for Wrightsville Beach? I think we're going to do a little bit better up here. We've lost a few shingles off a couple of houses. Uh, the big concern right here is the beach. And you can see behind me, here comes the, the surf right up to the uh, steps here. Now, we're about an hour past high tide. So the tide is, is theoretically going out, but the wind is piling the water back up. And there's been significant uh, cuts in the dune line. Uh, looking south and north, I just uh, shot some video. We'll turn that around as much as, as quickly as we can. But uh, we've lost a lot of uh, sand on the dune. Fortunately, this is a very wide, nice, healthy dune here. Extends for about 25 or 30 yards. There's a fair amount of elevation. You can see the bushes and the sea oats and other vegetation. So this is about as good as a dune line gets. And it's really a natural barrier. And that's why they always tell you to stay off the dune, because this is uh, the last stop before the Atlantic or any body of water, uh, whether it's the Gulf or the uh, Pacific, gets into areas where you don't want the water to go. But the water has certainly come up here. We are getting hit right now by one of those squalls. The wind is still gusting up over 50. I just checked the Johnny Mercer Pier, which you cannot see right now because it's raining so hard. Uh, we gusted to 54 miles an hour, and we just got bad news from Myrtle Beach, the famous Spring Maid Pier, one of the piers down there. We've lost a big chunk of it. I believe I read we've lost two-thirds of the Spring Maid Pier in Myrtle, in Myrtle Beach, so uh, that, is, that is not good. Fortunately, right here, though, uh, the property is fine, and uh, the power is still on, as far as we know, across all of Wrightsville Beach. But it's the unrelenting surf here, and now more of this driving, stinging rain. And, the, boy, the visibility now is down to about a mile, Mike. It's raining so hard. This is about as hard as it's rained through the storm. But you can see that on the radar. This is kind of what's left of the, uh, the outer eye wall, the, the heavier rainfall element coming right up the coast now. Uh, the, the storm, fortunately, is weakening, and we're expecting to have it downgraded to a tropical storm by uh, this evening, early this evening. But the, the impacts inland don't change. We still have the threat of uh, more heavy rain and certainly flooding through the uh, later on tonight. The rain here should shut down by midnight, and the wind's eventually going to turn off shore, Mike, and that's going to do what it's done to uh, those of you to our south, including your location. That pushes the water back out into the Atlantic. So we've got another good... Uh, five, six hours of this, and then things will calm down. Tomorrow will be a much better day here. And again, this is going to be more of a story on this part of the coast, not so much from the Outer Banks north to Virginia Beach. Mike? Yeah, I think a lot of people really looking forward to Sunday, Mike. I think that uh, this is going to be one of those days that they are really, really um, thankful for. You can see